So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We are asked to add the given radical expressions. In order to add or subtract radicals, we must have like radicals. Like radicals are radicals where the radical part is exactly the same, which means like radicals have the same index and the same radicand. Before we identify like radicals though, we need to make sure the radicals are simplified. Looking at our first example, we have four square root five plus three square root five. First notice how both square roots are simplified, and because both radicals contain the square root of five, these are like radicals, and we can determine the sum. More formally, these are like radicals because both indexes are equal to two, and both radicands are equal to five. We add like radicals just like we add like terms. So if we can determine the sum of, let's say, four x and three x, we can determine the sum of these two like radicals. Four x plus three x is equal to seven x. To add like terms, we add the coefficients, four plus three is equal to seven, and the variable part remains exactly the same. So when it comes to adding or subtracting like radicals, we treat the radical as if it was a variable. So four square root five plus three square root five equals seven square root five. We obtained the seven by adding the four and the three, and the square root of five remained exactly the same. Number two, we have three square root three plus square root seven plus nine square root seven plus two square root three. First, notice how all these square roots are simplified, but not all of these are like radicals. Notice the first and fourth radicals contain the square root of three, so these two are like radicals, and the second and third radicals contain the square root of seven, and therefore these two radicals are like radicals. Or again, more formally, the first and fourth radicals are like radicals because both have an index of two and a radicand of three. The second and third radicals are like radicals because both have an index of two and a radicand of seven. We determine this sum just like we would determine the sum of, let's say, three x, plus y plus nine y plus two x. Notice for this variable expression, the first and fourth terms are like terms, and so are the second and third terms. Combining the like terms, three x plus two x is equal to five x, so we have five x plus y or one y plus nine y equals ten y. So applying the same idea to the sum of the radical expressions, three square root three plus two square root three equals five square root three. So we have five square root three plus square root seven or one square root seven plus nine square root seven equals 10 square root seven. For the last example, number three, we have five square root x plus four square root x y plus square root x. Remember, like radicals have exactly the same radical part. So for this expression, only the first radical and the third radical are like radicals. Both have an index of two and a radicand of x. Notice for this radical, the index is two, but the radicand is x, y, not x. So we can only add the first and third radicals. So five square root x plus one square root x is equal to six square root x, so the sum is six square root x, and we still have plus four square root xy. I hope you found this helpful.